What's scarier? The scarier phase of the game, the mm. passing offense for Kansas City or that Bucks pass rush? This is a throwdown we'll be discussing leading up to kickoff. Bucks pass rush, really good. I hyped it yesterday. But, like, <laughs> the Cider House Rules is a really good movie. Ain't beating Titanic for, the, for that best <laughs> picture. All due respect to Michael Caine sobbing his eyes out. I think it's the Chiefs passing offense because I'm, I'm, you, you immediately start to go historic with them. What is the scarier passing offense since you've been on this earth? It's maybe Brady and Moss and Welker that year, the Warner and all those guys on the turf, maybe Randall Cunningham when he was doing it with Minnesota. That's it. And the centerpiece, the bell of the ball, the star of the show is the guy who Nate did his burlesque on. It's Kelsey. Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey is the answer to every question. Not Mahomes. I've said this again. I think right now Kelsey is better at tight end than Mahomes is a quarterback. Like pound for pound, unstoppable. And Nate is doing backflips during his segment trying to describe to us how can we stop him. And Nate, I feel like every defensive coach in the league is just screaming at his TV like, we know, we bracket him, we try. You think we didn't try that? They're trying everything. And I just don't think there is an answer. I, I, I really don't. The only thing is like, just pray that you can stay with him long enough for the pass rush to get home. And this is, listen, I'll put it this way. If you took Tyreek Hill off the Chiefs, I still think they win the Super Bowl. I really do. I think he is amazing and changes the offense, but if, with the other weapons they have and the other speed, I think they could still win it. Kelsey's off the Chiefs, I, I, not a chance. I think he is their most valuable player outside of Mahomes just because of the virtue of his position. Kelsey, 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 that offense is terrifying. They're both, I mean, Kelsey is arguably their most valuable player, yeah. and obviously Mahomes is their top dog, but names like Mike Remmers and Andrew Wiley are going to come into a huge play mm. into this game because you can't get Mahomes to Kelsey if JPP is blowing up your backup left tackle and your backup right tackle mm. every single down. I, I look at this Tampa defensive pass rush, and it's not one-dimensional. Shaq Barrett was the story this week. He had three sacks. He had 18 and a half last year. And yet, I don't know if he's their best pass rusher. I think Jason Pierre-Paul is in on every play. I think up front, you add Vita Vea, who is just a just a clog. Him and Ndama Kinsu are just clogging up the middle, so it eliminates your run game. And now you're coming from the edges. Look at it, they've come from all sizes, ages, and varieties. Mm. You've got your old vets in McClendon and Sue and JPP. Then you got Shaq Barrett. Then you got Vita Vea. And I haven't even mentioned the linebackers who come in and it's Levante David and it's Devin White who is a scud missile. Hey, look, Mahomes and Kelsey and all that stuff, everyone says you gotta stop them. What you gotta do is you gotta bracket them. You got, the, the bottom line is if you're, if you're tackling Patrick Mahomes before he can throw the ball, or if you're in his face, it makes it really hard. I think this pass rush did things to Aaron Rodgers last week that we need to recognize. Aaron Rodgers in that Packers offense was the number one red zone offense in the history of the sport. I think they went two for nine in the red zone on pass attempts last week, and they were in his face the entire game. They didn't have Bakhtiari, it didn't hurt him until this game. You're right. This team hasn't had Mitchell Schwartz in weeks, hasn't hurt them until this game. Don't sleep on that Bucks defensive pass rush. I think they can make things miserable mm. for that Chiefs offense on Super Bowl Great Sunday. Great point. You're right, Strange. That Bucks pass rush is fantastic. But in the words of Kyle Brandt, I mean, the aviator was good, but it ain't beating out Million Dollar Baby, no, all right? right? And they got a half a billion dollar baby, and that's Patrick Mahomes. I'd say it's the Chiefs pass catchers because <laughs> you have I mean, a We've court. arrived at comparing Mahomes to Hillary Swank. Talk about it! We've got 10 days to go. Eating, Let's do it. Eating about steaks it. off people's plates. Yeah, taking it home where she's got to eat. But I, I just feel like you pick one and the other one kills you. What was the sweater that you wore last week? Pick your poison. Pick your poison. And I know we joke about it all the time and it's very cliche in sports, but I don't think it's more fitting um, than now because they have a quarterback that even when you flush him out of the pocket, he can pick up the first down. You have Tyreek Hill that can literally take the top off of any coverage. And I know that's a, a commonly used phrase when it comes to fast wide receivers, but I truly mean that. Mm. If there's a safety and Tyreek Hill's running at him full speed, that safety has to get the H-E double hockey sticks out of there. Because if he doesn't, Patrick Mahomes will throw a 60 yards down the field for a touchdown. Okay, say that safety does get out of there. Now you have Travis Kelsey, mm. McCall Hardman, and all these different playmakers and pass catchers that you just can't stop. The question is not stopping them. It's just... Who do you choose to double and bracket, and who do you choose to let make plays? Let me ask That's you. That's the trouble. Last year, the 49ers, they caused hell, H-E double, hockey six, sorry, yep. <laughs> for Patrick Mahomes, those yeah. first three quarters, and they got kind of away from their game plan, and then Garoppolo, instead of handing the ball off, was throwing the ball over the yard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But that pass rush mm -hmm. disrupted Mahomes. Mahomes did not look great the first three quarters of that game. Even on Wasp, he's drifting all the way back. I, 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 now held. imagine they get home and you've got Brady on the other side and not Garoppolo. Does that not make you think that this isn't just going to be him kicking back and throwing to Tyreek? No, that, you make a good point because if I take Brady and I put him in Jimmy Garoppolo's shoes in that Super Bowl last year, what maybe, happens? Maybe we don't see Kansas City as Super Bowl champs mm -hmm. because I don't Brady will make that throw to Emmanuel Sanders down the middle of the field with a little bit of pressure in his face. All I know is if they get up fast and get up big on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Brady is reckless with the ball like he was this past weekend, True. it's going to get ugly. Do you want to make the case for Aviator over Million Dollar Baby? Not a bad movie. In fact, I thought the, How the Howard Hughes like, portrayal by Leo was excellent. <laughs> million Dollar Baby, a little over Million Dollar rated. That's <laughs> Love you, Stuart. Not his best. <laughs>